Oh yeah, on Wilcox Lives, I think it's time to play a little Minecraft. Alright, where did we leave off last time? Um, 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 I think I want, uh, I want to use some, pretty sure I want to use some quartz for the top of this thing. That is where I left off last time. I'm probably going to have to go mining in the nether. Oh man. I'm also apparently out of food. I think that guy's still down there. Are you still down here? Probably got killed, right? Now he's a zombie. Was hiding down in here. Where did you go, guy? Where he fell somewhere. Oh man, I think I'm down a down a Villager. This is where he was at. But I don't see him now. Did you wander back in here? Because this goes pretty far. This is not getting me quartz. I don't know how deep they would go into a mine. I don't know why he was down here in the first place. Uh, I got a little lost there. Whew, I am struggling here today. I am so tired. I, uh... Did not get enough sleep. Oh, wait. There he is. No, that's my farmer. Why is my farmer down here talking to this guy? Ah, <sighs> you guys. Why you gotta be like this? Where are you dummies at? I also haven't seen my fisherman in a while. Remember he was in the... Or no, that was my farmer. Oh, there's my fisherman right there. Did you catch any fish? Wait. You're, you're not a fisherman. The other guy was a fisherman. You're a farmer who wants beetroot. So I did not get a beetroot uh, bones. How much beetroot do you want? Fifteen. Oh, look. Mm-hmm. Whoa, I'm having problems here. Would you like some beetroot, farmer? Ooh, look at you. I traded you some beetroots. Did you do something with the bone meal here? 
I honestly don't know. I don't know how farmers work. All I know is I need some food. So get some food, and then we'll go ugh, find a spot to try and harvest some uh, quartz. See, the problem is, is that while I have done a lot of exploring, any place where I have tunnel, I didn't want to remove the quartz because I wanted the quartz to show up in my tunnels and so I tried not to harvest any uh, any quartz nobody needs that many arrows One of these days, maybe I'll let that pig out, too. Uh, where's my smoker? See that? I clicked right on it. Smoke me up some potatoes, please. Oh, you don't have any fuel. Smoke me up some potatoes, please. All right, and then we'll unload some of this. Uh, granite, 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 granite. Well, I was pretty sure those were all dirt, and I was wrong. Dealerite, dealerite, dealerite. Cobble, cobble. Stone, stone. Oops. That one's andesite. Stone, stone. Andesite. And I think that's it. I don't think I really have a spot for glass. So let's throw some glass in there. Why do we have a spot for glass? Never mind. Put it over here in the glass chest. And then this guy should hold my emeralds. Okay. And then we'll see about some food. And then I'm going to go in the nether. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I've been playing, uh, yeah, okay. I've been playing um, Wastelands 3 quite a bit. And uh, which came out this week. Uh, pretty fun game. I uh, I'm a fan of that style of game. I'm a fan of a lot of styles of games. Who are we kidding? Uh, what does my pick got on it? I'm in here. Fortune 1. Alright. It's not great, but... I guess it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Um, but it's a... Uh, Post-apocalyptic... Um, Turn-based squad game... Um, it's been a long time since I played the first two. Uh, I don't know why I went that way. I need to go this way. Um, the, uh, um, so basically what it is, is, uh the guy one of the guys who worked on Fallout, which is a turn based squad tactical um you know post apocalyptic thing. Um 
made his own game, which is basically Fallout. And uh, uh, he may have made the original Fallout. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, so after Fallout 2, I'm pretty sure Wasteland came out after Fallout 2, but it's basically... Um, It's basically like uh, not not the modern Fallout game, which I like, uh, but the original uh, turn-based Fallouts, which I like. Um, there's a, a group in there called the the Rangers, and um, and so I kind of feel like. I kind of feel like Wasteland is Fallout, but from the point of view of the Rangers instead of a Vault Dweller. And there aren't vaults. Uh, I don't think. I don't remember. It's been too long since I played the first two. Uh, I might have to break them out. Um, after I finish playing with this one, maybe. Probably not. Who knows if I'll even finish this one. My gaming ADD is so bad. I uh, got Final Fantasy VII, right? That's what I played last. Where did I come in here at? Hello? Mm. Nope, I don't know how I got in here, but I'll worry about that later. Just gonna continue wandering around, gathering as much quartz as I can get my hands on. Cause I'm gonna need it. Um but yeah, it's pretty enjoyable. It's uh if you like that kind of thing. I mean obviously if you don't like that kind of thing, it's not gonna be enjoyable, but um, I'm liking it so far. Uh, it seems a little so. There's a there's a trick to these games is that um, they're not. <gasps> that was almost me. My pick is trying to kill me. Uh, so, um, they're hard. And this one's not as hard as, uh, some of the others like it that I've played. And so that makes it a little more enjoyable for me. I like a challenge, but I don't like it to be ridiculous. Although there is some ridiculous in this. Like, uh, so, I've talked about this in other, other episodes. Maybe not of this series, but... Um, I play a lot of D&D, &D, or I try to play a lot of D&D. &D. Uh, it's relatively new in my life. Um, I tried it a bit when I was in high school, but it was really hard where I live to find... Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not necessarily a go-out-and-make-friends person. And so, uh, you know, you got friends, you try to get those friends interested in what you're doing... Um, and it started out okay, uh, and everybody was new to the thing, and, um, so we played a little bit, but D&D &D was a much harder beast to play back in the day, and, uh, so, um, we didn't really know what we were doing. None of us had played before. You know, that kind of thing. And so... Uh, it was hard getting everybody to understand. Because D&D &D is not like a regular game. Like, D&D &D is like... You decide what your character is going to do. And... Uh, and so if you can think it up... 
for something that your character might be able to try, you can try it, right? And so um, my players at the time had never played anything like it, had never seen anybody play anything like it. And so I struggled to get them to understand that they needed to explore and not just move from room to room uh killing things and uh it wasn't it wasn't like a like they were all video game people so you know in a video game you move from room to room and you kill everything right um and so i was trying to get across that they needed to look for things they needed to explore um And, uh, so, uh, the last time we played, I, um, I made up a bunch of, that's a weird noise. I made up a bunch of items, uh, specific to the classes, uh, but I hid them in the level. Not, not hard. I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, they gotta, you know, they gotta move the paper and, and pick up the, uh, move the paper to find the clue that lets them, uh, find out that the gargoyle statue is missing a ruby eye and the ruby's hidden in the mouth of the boar, you know, nothing like that. I'm not crazy. Uh, I've played those games and they drive me crazy and uh no no it was just uh do you search for secret door in the room that was it do you search for a secret door in the room and i had told them repeatedly i told them before we started that they need to be doing things like looking for traps and searching for secret doors and uh and so they went through and killed the Killed the, uh, uh, I think we were in the house of a witch. And, um, like a, like a hag. And, uh, they won. And then, uh, uh I was like, and then you watch as the, the entire house, um, sinks into or no it doesn't sink i think it got sucked into like a black hole basically and vanished because the whole thing was magic and it was just held in place by the witch and um and then i hand them the papers and i'm like these things were in the house and all you had to do was search that's it. All I had to do was search. And they got so mad that I wouldn't give them the items <laughs> that they quit. And we never played again. Uh, might as well take a little glowstone while we're here, right? So anyways, D&D. &D, uh... Uh, so it's not like, it's not like, uh, uh, we're D&D, &D, you get to make your choices. I don't remember what I was talking about, honestly, at this point. I took so long to get through that story. There was a reason I brought up D&D. &D. Um, oh, oh, uh, it's a thing that I hate in D&D, &D, and I've talked about it. Right, right. Um, so, I don't like it. I don't like it when an RPG gives me, and I don't care if it's tabletop, I don't care if it's a video game. I don't want I don't want quests that I can't handle without telling me that I can't handle them. Like there has to be some indicator. Uh and uh and I have noticed that Wasteland 3 little problem with the indicator. Uh and so you go and you'll do something and it'll be level appropriate. 
Uh, and, uh, and so you'll fight your way through. Uh, and you'll clear everything at the beginning of the thing, right? And, and so there's like a certain sense of urgency um, that I, I kind of feel gets lost in open world games. Um, and so just here's, here's the example. All right. Here's, here's the issue in, in Wastelands 3 that I just finished last night. Uh, I didn't finish it the way I wanted to. And I wish I had made other choices and maybe come back later um, when I was better equipped or something. But uh, uh, so you got my I got my squad and we talked to the sheriff in this town. And so one of the issues in the town, we go and we resolve it. And it's not it's not easy, but it wasn't can't win right and uh and so we come back from that and we talk to the sheriff again and she's like one of my men is missing and they're like okay now we just finished a quest for her uh and uh so one would assume that if she's the quest giver for the area that the next quest would be on par with the first quest. And so um, she's like, one of my men is missing, and I'm pretty sure he's been taken by uh, by the local gangster, right? And so we go to the gangster's club. And obviously you gotta look around and talk to people, and I did that, and we talked to the guy, and I don't have the speech skills necessary for one of the options that we could do. But the dude wouldn't tell us um, where the missing guy was. Right? And so um, we talked to, like, one of his henchmen, and he didn't... He wouldn't tell us, and I'm pretty sure at this point that the guy is in the back room where they won't let us go. And so I uh, talk to this one guy, and he's like, he he lets slip that the computer behind him is it controls the um, it controls the. Uh, I don't know where I'm at. It controls the ventilation system. And, uh, this is a weird, like, just tiny little slightly open area. I need to get back over to the really open area so I can see my my tunnels. I'm going to go down here, I guess. Or try to go down here. And, um, so we get in there and, and he tells us that the, the ventilation system is broken. Oh, is that one of my tunnels right there? I see a little bit of gray. And so um, I, uh, I'm like, ooh, maybe we can use the, the broken ventilation system because he says that if you turn the heat all the way up and you turn the, you turn the, um, fans off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sweet. Okay. So we weren't too far off from home. Then, um, the place to catch on fire. And so, oh, look, somebody, somebody done, uh, pillared up right there. I actually don't know where this is at. 
That is weird. It's like big lasers gone off and cut through everything. Okay, let's uh Did my Okay, well this is not going to be visible. So, um you know, we go and we do all that stuff, and we talk to the guys, and I cannot get this guy to move. Uh, and so if you try to touch the computer, he says he will, you know, sound the alarm. And, um, well, there's so many guys in this place that I can't fight them. There's just too many guys. And uh, this is this is my village. That's where this is at. I have carved my way around to where my village is at. The one that I stole my, my dudes from. So, um, so the guy won't, uh, the guy won't move. And he says the only way he'd move is if there was a fight. So I'm like, oh, so there we go. I gotta get a fight and then I can, uh, get him to move and then we'll be golden and, uh, can't find anyone to start a fight. Uh, and then I did, I did find one group to start a fight, but that didn't make him move. So I'm like, okay, because they were upstairs in a back room. So I'm like, I can't find anybody to start a fight. Um, and, uh, the only way I could start a fight is if I started a big fight with everybody, but that's not, that's not making him move so I can sneak in there and use the computer, which it sounded like I should have been able to do, but I couldn't figure it out. And, uh, so I leave. I'm like, well, let's hope this isn't one of those things where I leave and then come back and then the dude that I'm supposed to be rescuing is dead. And I went and did some other stuff. And then I came back and I, I asked around some more. And, uh, I found a guy that told me where, where the guy who's missing was. And so I, I took that information to this other guy and um, he said he would only, he would only, uh, the, they wouldn't release the guy until I could clear the uh, gangster's name. Um, and so I went and I did this other quest and I come back and then when I talk to the gangster, uh, he won't release the guy unless I make a deal with him. And I don't really want to make the deal, but the only other option was to fight. And this is one of those instances where I am nowhere near high enough level to fight. But I feel like he's going to kill this uh, dude if I, don't, if I don't do it now. Uh, and, uh, and so now I'm thinking that it's probably open world enough that that doesn't happen but i've already made the deal and uh, so now i have a gangster working in my base who runs the uh, weapon shop and uh yeah I, I i don't like that the first quest from the sheriff was go and clear out these raiders uh at the farm and rescue the people there was what I felt level appropriate. Uh, and then her next quest was like, you can't, you can't do what I would consider the good ending because all the guys in there are way over your level. Uh, like, I mean, they're shooting me with laser guns and stuff and I just don't have access to that. Stuff for, look out, look out. You almost got got, nitwit. And now I'm on fire. Alright, it stopped. It's fine, it's fine. I dealt with it. 
Let's go see how we did on the quartz here. You know what? I should probably see how I did on quartz over here with my stone cutter. Maybe I should take the stone cutter with me over there while I'm working. It's probably a good idea. Why is this guy in my base? So, uh, yeah, I like it, but I hate when you hit those parts where it's just like, oh no, you wanted to follow the quest, but no, it's it's too high level. Um, the reason I brought up D&D was because I feel like, um, so... <laughs> so this is how this is how it worked uh this is what doesn't make any sense to me obviously at the beginning of the game i don't have the gear to do high-end things right so either your quest have to scale to match my what are you doing that's not how you make a workbench i was just gonna put four four blocks down I don't think that I actually needed the workbench anyways, because I was going to use this instead. And then we'll do this. All right. Well, we only got 50. That's not, that's not great. Because I'm going to need at least... I bet I'll need all 50 of that in stairs, man. Okay, so let's get up here. And um, so you do some stuff at the beginning, uh, which is like the tutorial. Totally level appropriate. Makes sense. Uh, but then, but then after the tutorial, you go out to what becomes your base. Uh, and that's all fine. And then they give you the game quests, right? But they don't give you a quest. They give you three potential quests. And whoop, that's not what I want. They give you three potential quests, and they're of varying difficulties. <sighs> Come on, man. Just... Why won't you put the stair there like I want it? There you go. Ooh, this will be fun to try and get in here. Uh... Oh, wait, what happened here? Oh, because I need I need this stair. And then this stair. Whoa. This stair. There you go. And um, so now I've just got go to one of these three spots, basically, and do things. And the only one that sounds like I, I don't know which one's the one I should do first. And I hate that. I hate don't tell me about all the quests if I can't do the quest. OK, just give me the ones that are at or around my level. You know, you want me to... Basically, the dude wants us to hunt down his three children. And uh, each one has its own their own base of operations. And... Um, but the only one he said, uh, you probably shouldn't go after that one right now, was just one of the three. So... 
you know, so all I've done really so far is gone to the first town and done some quests around the first town. And the quests in the first town have stuff that I can't do because I'm not high enough level. I don't get it. I don't get it. I hate that. I hate that they put that kind of stuff in games because just like you want to tell me your big overarching plan fine but then the guy should be like i think you should probably go after this one first because uh you know not all right well i ain't doing it you do it now go and go and capture my children and bring them back and uh yeah yeah, you probably shouldn't go after that one right now because I don't think you're strong enough. Uh, oh, by the way, the place that I mentioned multiple times where uh, my one kid is isn't actually even on the map. So, uh, good luck. And what are you going to be doing while I'm doing all this? Oh, dang it. But uh, other than that, I'm enjoying it. I just, uh, uh, you know, the D&D thing is because um, my DM tends to uh, spout out things that don't mean anything, have anything to do with anything, or quests that you'll never be allowed to work on, and it's annoying. Um uh, just real quick, just real quick, uh, the, uh, uh, we play this one adventure campaign and, uh, the very first place we came to, they gave us all this information about these people who had been kidnapped by raiders and taken away, which I guess was supposed to set the mood for what was going on, but didn't really play out in our campaign. And we tried to, I guess I should have come here first, man. I got all kinds of court stuff going on. And, um, And so those people that were mentioned at the beginning of the adventure, uh, you don't actually interact with. Uh, you find them in a uh, a jail. Uh, well, not jail, but you find them in, in a prison deep in the final dungeons. Um, deep in the final dungeon basically. And I'm like, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Don't tell me about them. Don't like, we never got to rescue anybody being captured. There wasn't any, like we never were given information ever. I didn't turn those into stairs ever through the whole campaign we weren't given information about what happened to those people we were just told at the very beginning that they had been captured uh and i hate it i hate it uh it's a terrible way to hook your players terrible and that's I don't know that it's written in the book that way, but I feel like it probably is because I find most of the official D&D &D adventures poorly written in that regard. Uh, they're, they're great. Um, they're great for giving you a world to play in and some quest ideas. Uh, and they always have like cool monsters and magic items and some plot threads, but don't buy a D and D adventure thinking that it's going to walk you through an adventure because they don't. 
Uh, and there's often stuff that because the game, because of how the game is played, oh, um, they can't obviously guess everything that's going to happen. Uh, but it feels like sometimes they don't try to guess anything that's going to happen. And uh, this is one of those cases where they're just like, here's some information. You can't use it. You'll never be able to use it. All right, so that does look pretty good. Uh, so my plan is to put a dome on top of this beast out of quartz before I get to uh, putting out the uh, telescope. So, all right, with that... I am going to call it here. So be very the small things, lean in the light, and I will talk to you later.